Hey, what's going on everybody? Colin B here and welcome back to some Fishing Planet. Today is episode number two, guys, Fishing Planet. We're gonna jump right into it though. I, uh, last, last episode I tried to explain a little bit of what was going on. It was more of like an introductory episode. So, as you can see, I'm at level seven already, all the way up here, which is fabulous, guys. I've been catching quite a bit of fish lately, and I'm gonna show you guys all my, my little rig setups and everything. This was my basic one that we got in the beginning of the game and stuff, and I've been catching, <clears throat> excuse me, some random catfish and stuff like that with it, so it was really, really fun to play with that one. And then we've upgraded quite a bit, guys, so I have, I have to get all situated here before we go fishing, so give me one second on that. I'll try to show you what's going on. So this is um here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all this stuff into my uh into my like inventory here just so we can set up and equip ourselves. So here, this is our basic fishing fishing um like catfish kind of pole and with a bobber and everything that we're using with like kind of our bobber pole, you know what I mean? So, and then we go to slot two and slot three, and I can add two different, you know, types of, like, rig setups here. Um, so, I bought, I went ahead and bought another pole. So, right here we have two poles here. So, I have a six foot three inch pole, and then a seven foot six inch pole. So, if I go, I'm going to throw on, like, the smaller stuff in slot two. So, let's throw the smaller pole here. And then I have two reels right here. I have a mini spin 1200. Uh, first off, let me show you real quick. Like on this pole, like the six foot three inch pole, it'll say line weight right here. Your line weight is three to seven pounds. So you want to stick between the three to seven pound range for to put line on this pole and with your with your lures. You want to stick around the, like the same weight. So here, three to seven pounds with this pole. So here is one of our reels that we can put on it. Uh, you want to look at your max drag here. It's three pounds, so it's three to seven pounds. This is three pound, so that is that'll work. I mean, it's a it's kind of a small reel for that pull, but that's okay. Now we can look at this one. I have the Inspire Cast 2000. So this is another three pound max drag. So that'll work on there too. But this is the new one that I just bought. So let's put that on my better my better reel. Um, so let's put on the mini spin here. And then it was three to seven pounds. So basically we need to put on some line on this fishing pole here. So this is a two pound test. And this for the line you want to look at test. So the line two pound test. This is a three pound test. So three to seven pounds. This is the one we want obviously. So let's throw that on. And then I'm just going to put on. Let's go ahead. Should we try a jig head? Hmm. Let's try. Here, let's just put on a casting spoon on this one. Uh, silver always works fabulous uh, in all types of weather. And then gold is mainly for like kind of rainy weather and stuff. So you want to use gold because fish can see it a lot better. So let's that's set up right here. I think that's okay. So let's go to our next one. And we can throw our... No so this is a foot, like a foot longer. Seven foot, six inch pole. So let's throw that on there. And then we can go the our new reel here. So that's our three pound reel. Then we can put our three pound line test on it. Wait, what? There we go, okay. <laughs> Scared me for a second. All right, and then let's put our mini base jig on here. Um, yeah, cause we're gonna be, what? We can't equip any more items, hmm. So we might have to upgrade our equipment here so we can equip some more. So let's go ahead and go to the store. View all tools I think we can go into and then you always want to guys I didn't even notice this from the first episode But you always want to sort from your level lowest first so you can see what you can actually buy like this is your star levels Of how of how much you're leveled up. So yeah, we're level seven So we can buy anything up to level seven, which is right here, and then we can't buy anything else So that is awesome. So let's see what did I have? I think I have I think I already bought this triple case. Yes, I did, because we can have we can hold three rods. Um, do we have? Oh, we had the old denim jacket, which lets us use five or lets us bring with us five tackles and one extra line. We can upgrade our jackets here. This one is cost actually uh, cost coins, 
are gold coins instead of the fake money that's in the game. So I'm not gonna pay for the gold coins because you can actually pay, you actually buy those, I think, from real money, but you can also get them like in game. It's a lot harder to get though. So let's go ahead and go to the comfort camper. So this can bring, so old denim jacket, five tackles in one line. This is seven tackles in two lines. So we're definitely gonna buy this. Let's go ahead and buy that. We have purchased that. So we can switch out jackets now. That's awesome. I really want to get this bag, but it costs 10 gold. So I'm not going to do that. I mean, we can carry a lot of stuff with that, but I'm not going to do that. And then this stringer is new. So let's see. That is a medium, 150 bucks. So max single fish weight, seven pounds. We can buy, we can get seven pound big boys. And then total fish weight, 17. Point. That's okay. We don't, you know, I think we have that actually. I'm not exactly sure, but let's go back to here. I'm gonna take off this jacket and let's go ahead and put on, here's our new comfort camper jacket. So I think we should be able to carry a little bit more with us here. So let's go, are these the same? Why are they here then? Why are they separate? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and throw that on though. Okay, so we're good, we're good here. We have a bunch of stuff with us. Oh, let's go ahead, let's take that off. I want to put on some small cut bait because we might be fishing for a couple catfish. We'll try to do that. I know I mentioned that before and we didn't even catch any. So anyway, I think we're all set up here. Let's go ahead and go to the map. We're going to go to travel to Missouri. Well, this is our home state, so we're not doing too much traveling. Let's go for a three-day fishing trip because that's the cheapest way to do it. Jeez, that loading screen takes forever, guys. But we are here. We are here. We are in Missouri. It's 5 a.m. Right here, you can see the fish activity of the of day one. So today is day one, and then fish activity of day two, and then day three are going to be the same. Uh, so today, it's right around 6 a.m. is the highest activity, and 4 p.m. So I think we're all set up here with everything in our backpack. We're, we're all good to go. We can always buy some stuff on the fly. Oh, wait, 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 I do not want to leave. We can always buy some stuff later on. So let's go ahead and select this location and go fishing. Oh, this, that, that one was way, way less long. <laughs> that loading screen there. All right, so we are here, guys. Oh, my God, and that looks like a dead body right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Y'all want to see a dead body? All right, let's, uh, let's see what we're going to do here. So we have, this is our first pull. Uh, you just press one, two, and three to get through them. So this is our first pull with actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and try right off the bat. We can try to fish for some uh, for some catfish. Here, I think you can press what is it? F10. Oh wait, it's F11. Is it F11? I don't remember, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Am I screwing this up here? I think it's F11. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So F11, we can go ahead and cast really far like this, like overhead cast. Well, I guess it's it's somewhat far. It's not really really far, but <laughs> all right. So we have our our like, well, I don't know if you want to call it our leader. I guess it is our leader, but our leader is set to all the way down like maximum almost. So it's like it has it has it like on ninety. I think you have to go from like ninety to a hundred or something. Excuse me, guys. I have terrible sniffles today, so I apologize. <laughs> Uh, but we have to go from like 90 to 100 with the leader because it has to sink all the way down for catfish So I'm also using the small cut bait because I heard that that is the best for catfish So let's let's test that out and see here our, bo our bobber on the right hand side is moving a little bit Let's see if we can catch something good it would be fabulous if we can go ahead and catch a nice catfish right off the bat uh, just because it's jiggling and moving a little bit doesn't mean that I'm going to pull it in for a strike. Uh, it's got to actually go kind of underneath that water level line. Then we can see if we can uh, catch something. It looks like it's it's got a lot of activity going on right now. Let's see. Anything? Anything going to strike it hard? Come on. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. You know you want it. Take it. Take it. Uh, should we I don't know if it's too soon to reel in I feel like it is I feel like it is but I feel like it, it's also like really low to the ground so um, huh. Let's see here Come on do a little bit Do I have anything? No, 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 I don't 
I'm just gonna reel in a little bit. Do I have anything? No, no, no. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it reset here real quick. I really want to catch a catfish, guys, because last episode clearly it was all just. Is there something on here? Is there something on here? No, there can't be something on there. Uh, last episode, it was all just, you know, bluegills. <laughs> like, it was terrible. All I caught was bluegills last episode. So hopefully we can maybe catch a catfish, maybe catch a largemouth bass. Like, because I'm looking for largemouth bass. Uh, I have, I've definitely caught quite a few largemouth bass already. It's just to get up to level 7. Because I, I needed to buy some more stuff. So that was the problem of not being able to catch bass. Is you need to buy some stuff. Ah, oh, come on, catfish. Where you at, brah? Where you at? All right, I might give up on this catfish, guys. Let's give up on it. I'm going to reel in. I'm going to reel in. All right, I'm going to switch poles because I want to go for the largemouth bass because they, you know, they give me a lot of experience anyways. This is our second pole, and, oh, that can cast pretty far. And let's see, our third pole, our new one, let's see how far this can cast. Did I set this up right? Oh yeah, look at that, baby. All right, let's move over here. So I've been finding, whoop, what are you doing over there, bro? All right, I've been finding that right over here is the money spot, guys. Like this is where all all the weeds are and stuff. Like or right alongside the weeds is where you want to kind of cast it. Also, one of the best like casting methods right here is as you can see, like look what I'm doing here. I pull up my rod and then reel at the same time and then let it go and let it drop so it's called the lift and drop and as you can see on the right hand side uh the lure acting a fool over there oh i don't know why i'm getting a little lag spikes here it's kind of weird but oh, oh oh we got something guys we got something we got something uh yeah so you want to do like a lift and drop basically how you do that is you press both of the mouse buttons together your left and your right mouse button together at the same time and then you drop it, or, or then you just let go of both of them, and then do it again. Like It's like every couple seconds you want to do that. This is a small guy, though, I think. Yep, young largemouth bass. So, that is nice, though. Let's go ahead and keep him. We want to keep every fish, just because uh, the more you keep, like the more money you make at the end of the day. So, this is obviously just our first day of fishing here. So, let's go ahead and try this again here. Uh, yeah, so both mouse buttons you want to press down and then you want to see how it says lift and drop on the right hand side uh, It only has one little dot. So that means I'm not doing it the best you want to have three dots for the lift and drop uh, But I'm not exactly sure on oh, 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 we got something again guys. We got another fish over. Oh, 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 he's gonna break the line Wow, did you see that it almost went in red? Oh, there it is like see it goes in a red line uh, I need to change the drag. Let's lower the drag a little bit. There we go. Can lower the drag. You always want to keep tension on the line too. So just like in real life. Another young guy. All right. We'll go ahead. Should we keep him or release him? Let's go. Let's let's keep him. That's fine. We'll keep him. Here, real quick. I want to check out. Oh, wait. We can't open. There we go. All right. I want to check out what is our... Or what um, fish stringer, or fish net are we using here? Where, where, where is it? Is it here? No, no, no. How do I find that out? I don't even know now. I don't. Oh, it's right here. That's right. Okay, so we have the keep net, so we can maximum weight of. Okay, so we have one of the smaller ones, maximum weight of 13 pounds. That's okay though. That's all we're gonna be catching anyway. So let's let's go ahead and exit there. Here, all right. So hopefully we can get a bigger one today. I want, I want a big boy. Let's fish for the mommies and the daddies. It, it is really early in the day too. We can always speed it up a little bit to get into like, what, what did I say it was? It was 6 a.m. was the most active, you know. So we can maybe just switch it to 6 a.m. But that's okay. We don't have to right now. Uh, and by the way, guys, in the next couple episodes. How I'm going to do it is I'm not going to go set up anything anymore. I'm just going to stay here, you know. So it's it's only day one of three here. I th I'm thinking, oh, 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 that was a big hit, guys. That's a big hit. That's a, oh, you can hear that noise. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but he's pulling out line. You can look at the number on the right, 97, 100, blah, blah, blah. He's Oh, he just jumped out of the water. 
Yeah, so he's pulling out line. This is a bigger boy. This has to be a, a normal size large mouth, not, not a young little baby one. Uh, but I figured out if you hold tension kind of like this on the line, and you can just tap right mouse button where it just jerks the pull back just a little bit, as you can see that, it kind of just reels him in a lot faster because you just yank on him a little bit and he keeps coming closer and closer. So that's how I figured that out. I don't know if that's like a flaw in the game or something. Uh, maybe when it comes bigger and bigger fish, you can't really do that or something. I don't know. But, but as of right now, I can kind of just keep... Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. He's not a young guy. He's a regular size largemouth. We want to keep him. Almost two pounds here, guys. That is fabulous. Awesome. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying to give you like a little bit of tips tips and tricks kind of thing as I'm going along in fishing. But I'm learning alongside with you guys. So this is... I'm not a professional angler by any means. So, <laughs> all right, let's let's continue doing the lift and drop method because I heard I looked it up a little bit, and that one's one of the best ones. I mean, I think it is the best method for largemouth. But let's let's go ahead and try to keep doing that. Then, yeah, this is I, I'm liking our new rat. Oh 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 oh, got another one. Wow, that was awesome. All right, is this a little guy? It looks like a little guy. He, Oh no no no! Might not be. He's pulling out line. He's pulling out line. Let's let's bring him in closer. I I'm just like tapping right mouse button right here just to kind of force against him and bring him in. You know what I mean? Uh, but like I was saying, guys, for these episodes. Oh yeah, that's a two pounder, guys. We got our first two pound large mouth. That is awesome. So awesome. All right, let's keep him. I almost released him on accident. So I'm telling you, over here next to these next to these weeds over here is definitely the best fishing. Uh, but I, what I was trying to say is these episodes, I'm thinking like around 20 minutes long, guys. I'm going to do something around 20 minutes. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less for the episodes. But I think 15 minutes is too, is too uh, short. And I think like 30 minutes might be a little bit too long, you know. But uh since we figured out all of our equipment already in this episode, I, oh, oh, we got another one. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and continue off the next couple of episodes here at this location. Because as you can see in the top left corner of the screen, it's only 538 and day one, you know. So we have three days of fishing here. That's just a little baby. Let's release him. I'm going to release him because we can't keep all the fish. And we might as well release the other two smallmouth we have too, because we only want to keep the large, or they're not smallmouth. I'm sorry, the younger baby largemouth. We we might want to release them, because we we only really want to keep the big largemouth, because those are the ones that make us all the money at the end of the day. So uh, I'm not sure. I think I have a do I have a fish net or a stringer? I think I have a stringer. I just checked it. I know, but I think I have a stringer, so I can't release any fish. If you have a fish net, then you can release uh, like the smaller fish. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Come on. Oh, this must be. Come on. This is this a normal size? I think it is. I think it might be. This might be a good, a decent size largemouth here. Let's go ahead and pull him in. Come on. He's pulling against us pretty well here. So let's uh let's keep jerking at him. Come on, buddy. Get over here. Get over here. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, next episode, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start again right where we left off right here. So that is gonna be fun because then we can fish all sorts of hours of the day and stuff. Look at that. Another large mouth. Almost two pounds here. Fabulous, fabulous. Let's go ahead and try one more. Oh, look at that, guys. We achievement get, baby. Bassmaster 3. All right, so we only we already had Bassmaster one and Bassmaster two, but look at that, we just won two hundred bucks and and fifty reward points. So that is awesome, that is fabulous. All right, let's let's fish one more time, maybe one or two more one or two more fish is what I'm looking for for today, and then and then that's gonna probably wrap it up, and we're gonna continue off in the next episode. If you guys do enjoy this though, please let me know by commenting down below. Like, comment down below if you guys fish at all or, you know, what your strategies are, where where you fished in your life. I don't know. Anything fun like that. Uh, and then, obviously, when you're commenting down there, don't forget to hit that like button for me. <laughs> I would really appreciate it, guys. But, 
you know, we're gonna I'm gonna continue to like fish and pump out these fishing videos. Whether or not you guys like them or not, we got one, baby! Hell yeah! We got another one. Fabulous. And it seems like another largemouth here. Or another decent sized largemouth. Clearly we're using the um, largemouth uh, bass jig here. Uh, so we're gonna just catch largemouth, you know, with this setup. And then we gotta get bigger and bigger. Oh, that's, oh, that is a normal size one. It's a, it's kind of smaller, but it's still gonna keep him. We will keep him. Can I throw out the other two? Let's see. Let's see. That sounds really mean to throw them out, but <laughs> here's the young ones. Oh, I can release. So we're using a keep net. That's right. So we're not using a stringer. So let's go ahead and release that one and release this other young one. Uh, we're only going to keep the, the normal size good ones. So we caught them early in the morning. Here's our reward money for each of them. I think we already made back the amount of money that it took to travel here to go fishing. So that is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and cast out another time over here. All right. Okay, so I'm looking for one more largemouth. One more largemouth, and then I'm going to call that a decent fishing day, guys, because we, we just caught a bunch, so that is pretty nice. Now let's keep uh, keep doing this. Uh, yeah, today we're using the bass jig. Um, or I'm sorry. Wait, is it the bass jig? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's right at the top right. It's the mini bass jig. That's what it is. So it's a quarter ounce mini jet bass jig. And then tomorrow or later on in the day, or I guess next episode is what you want to call it. I'm going to try out the spoon, you know, because I heard the spoon is really good for largemouth also. So we can go ahead and test that out too. But it's getting right around six o'clock, guys, in the morning. So that is going to be prime time for fishing. So let's, uh, we didn't catch anything this cast right here. So let's go ahead. Should I cast? Let's try to cast an... Oh my gosh, I can cast a cross next to those rowboats. Let's try to cast right here. There we go. And I think I click it right there. And there we go. All right. That's a decent size or a decent cast right there. 80, 90 feet right there. Not too bad. Come on, sink down. There you go. So I'm just looking at the bait basically on the right hand side of the screen. That's how I kind of estimate whether I want to like reel in or or let go, you know. Let's see if we can. Oh, oh, we got something. We got something. Is it, oh yeah, he's pulling us back. He's pulling us. All right, so you don't only have to fish near the weeds. We just we just solve that problem or figure that out. Here, right, come on, buddy. Are you a, a large male? Yeah. Oh wow, he's small. He's a baby. He's a baby, but we're gonna keep him for now, guys. So let's let's go ahead and keep him. He's only 1.6 pounds. Let's go ahead and keep him, guys. But anyway, let's go. Ch let's check out what we caught today. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So we got three, four, five. We have five largemouth, guys, and we made we, our reward already is 63 bucks. So that is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. We um, we've already caught nine, almost nine and a half pounds of fish. So our total weight can only be 13 pounds. So we can only catch a couple more fish before we have to call it a day. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. If you guys did enjoy, a rating would be much appreciated like always. But we will see you guys in the next episode. Happy fishing, peeps.